وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإن عوى سيريز هاي أسبريشن واللوفتي أسبريشن We were speaking about مظاهر دنوه الهمة Ways and forms in which low aspiration manifests and we previously spoke about 15 ways inshallah ta'ala today i'm going to mention the 16th way or form in which low aspiration manifests al-istirsalu ma'al amani al-kadhiba wishful thinking giving into false hopes there are many people من يهوى المعالي They wish to attain lofty and high aspiration There are many people out there that wish and want high aspiration for themselves And they desire it, they love it, they are obsessed with it ويتعشق المكارم And he loves those type of things when it's spoken about ولكنه لا يسعى إليها But he doesn't exert the efforts ولا يجد and he doesn't put in fi tatalabiha. He doesn't put the required and the needed efforts. But yaktafi min dalika kullihi bil muna al kadiba. But rather, what the person does is he or she suffices their, themselves with false hopes, wishful thinking. Wal ahlam al ma'asula. And they give themselves this dream that they know themselves are not going to exert the effort and the hard work. Like one of them said once upon a time, إِذَا تَمَنَّيْتُ بِتُّ اللَّيْلَ مُغْتَبِطًا إِنَّ الْمُنَى رَأْسُ أَمْوَالِ الْمَفَالِيسِ He said, if I want something, I dream about it all night. Because the truth of the matter is, wishful thinking is رَأْسُ أَمْوَالِ الْمَفَالِيسِ It is the capital of the bankrupt ones. People who are bankrupt, their main income, their main sustenance, their main capital is al al kadiba al-istirsal, to surrender and to give into wishful thinking, false hopes. Anyone who brings forward the concept of success. ولا يريد أن يدفع ثمنه but does not want to pay the price. He's like ينتظر أن تمطر السماء أو ذهبا. He's like someone who's waiting for the sky to water down gold for you. أو أن تنشق الأرض عن كنز. Or he's wishing that the earth will spit out a treasure for you. That's the similarity between the person who talks about high aspiration and lofty aspiration, but doesn't really put, out, put in what is needed, doesn't pay the price, doesn't exert the effort. He's like a person who looks at the sky and wishes that it just rains down water, uh, gold or believes that the sky is going to rain gold for them. Or that the earth is going to spit out treasures. Wishful thinking, you're not going to ever reach high aspiration through it. Wishful thinking, through it you're not going to attain and achieve high aspiration. Rather, you think you have hope and you have high aspiration, but what, we, what you really have is wishful thinking and false hopes. وَلَا يَتَرَقَّ فِي دَرَجِ الْمَكَارِمِ 
and you're never going to lift your head up or take a step forward to your goal if all it is is for you just wishful thinking Abu Tammam he said Man kana mar'a azmihi wa humumihi rawd al-amani lam yazal mahzula any individual who is everything about him your whole entire thought process is just about wishful thinking oh, if I'm, you know what I wish I had this I wish I was given this you know I, I, you know I can I can actually do this and that's it خلاص. your entire life you will live in that cycle and you will never lift your head up you're never going to achieve it a good dream is half the battle that's it you, you, the other half, you have to exert it. You have to work. You have to get up. You have to dress. You have to go. Tomorrow never comes. And a dream that you think about, that you dwell over, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen in front of you or it's going to take place. All of this comes through bil jiddi wal ijtihad. All of this comes through exerting the effort, striving, sacrificing things that you love, your sleep, sacrificing that moment that you want to eat, but you choose not to. You re it requires patience and endurance. It requires forbearance. It requires determination. Those are the characteristics that you need after you've hoped for this thing to go forward and make it happen. Make it a reality. Make it something that literally happened in, in your eyes and you see it take place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, لَيْسَ بِأَمَانِيِّكُمْ وَلَا أَمَانِيِّ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ مَنْ يَعْمَلْ سُوءًا يُجْزَ بِهِ وَلَا يَجِدْ لَهُ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَلِيًّا وَلَا نَصِيرًا Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, لَيْسَ بِأَمَانِيِّكُمْ وَلَا أَمَانِيِّ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He tells us, entering Jannah and being from the inhabitants of Jannah, it's not just based on wishful thinking. لَيْسَ دُخُولُ الْجَنَّةِ وَالظَّفَرُ بِمَرَاتِبِهَا الْعَلِيَّةِ Entering Jannah and gaining the, gaining the high levels of Jannah وَلَنْ نَجَأْتُ مِنَ النَّارِ وَمِنْ دَرَكَاتِهَا And to be saved from the hellfire and its pits is not بِالْأَمَانِي Wishful thinking But what did the ayah say? مَنْ يَعْمَلْ سُوءًا يُجَزَ بِهِ but rather what is needed from you is Al-Amal Salih, righteous actions. What is required from you is Al-Iman Al-Sadiq, unwavering faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and belief in Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that all, Al-Amal Al-Salih and Al-Iman Al-Sadiq, all of that comes بِبَدْلِ الطَّاقَةِ تَرَقِّيًا فِي مَرَاتِبِ الْكَمَالِ it comes about by exerting a lot of effort to reach that complete level and to distance yourself the levels or the pits of destruction and harm and the ability that you exert has to be consistent and continuous, you will finally see results. Once you exert an effort, it doesn't mean it's just once. You do it again and again and again, and you will finally see that whatever obstacle, whatever thing it is that you were trying to achieve, you were trying to gain, you will actually be able to. Why? Because you're consistent and you're continuous and you're not stopping. 
you will get there even if what you're exerting is very little it is better than not doing anything it is better than sitting back and just wishing and dreaming about things or talking about it and speaking about it one of the greatest qualities of successful successful people in life is that they talk less about their accomplishments and what they've achieved and they spend more time and energy in actually achieving that which they don't have there's always more you can learn in life there's more that you can achieve what you actually know right now it's nothing in comparison to the knowledge that's out there that you need to know whether it be the religion or whether the, or whether the, whether it be the dunya doesn't matter you always need more things you need you need more knowledge and your knowledge grows wisdom grows as time goes on all of that it does require from you determination it requires from you to be a person who is hungry and driven to try to reach that level set yourself high goals and work towards them have faith in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forsake a person whose intentions are pure and their outer actions are pure if your heart is clean and cleansed and your actions are also the same and they both come together you are externally and internally purified then honestly speaking there's nothing to stop you you have allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on your side who can beat who can win from a person um, who allah tabarak wa ta'ala is on their side but sitting back and staying in your place or relaxing and thinking that success is going to come to you in your room your goals that you set yourself that you were going to achieve you promised yourself that is going to happen that ayah is muhkam clear cut jannah is the greatest success that we're all looking for wherever we are in the world jannah is the thing that we we're, we're looking for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran faman zuhziha 'an an-nar wa udkhila al-jannah faqad faz allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala that anyone who enters jannah and it's protected from the hellfire they have been given true success so what is success what is fawz what is saada what is tumanina what is tranquility what is happiness what is joy it is to be told you have passed the test that day when you're told yawm al qiyamah that you enter jannah there's the you've never been given a better news than that Allah told us subhanahu wa ta'ala that jannah is not going to come through wishful thinking to enter jannah there's effort and hard work that is required from you iman as-sadiq and an amal as-salih is needed from you it is required i'm going to stop there inshallah ta'ala anything which i have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaytan and allah and his messenger are both free from it subhanak allahumma wa bihamdih ashhadu an la ilaha illallah أستغفرك وأتوب إليه. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How can you do a two-second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that. with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah you'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe as an easy 2 second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on do it now click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention